Hi, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. Today we're going to be looking at the end function. Uh, so say for instance you have your products that you sell and you have recorded the revenue over a period of time, their profit and as a consequence a percentage of profit over revenue. And you want to see which products are actually performing above certain thresholds. So for instance, you want to make, uh, highlight all the products uh, that you've sold more than $10,000 worth of, and they also have made you more than 30% uh, profit uh, over revenue. Because for instance, you've sold maybe product G, you sold nearly $12,000, but you've only made $1,200 in profit at a margin percentage of 10%, whereas other uh, products, product A, you sold half, almost, and you made almost double the profit at 44%. So, you want to highlight in this column here, all the products that satisfy both thresholds. So, they have sold more than $10,000 and their margin is uh, about 30%. How do you do that? You do that with the use of the end function. The end function basically tells, uh, shows you which products satisfy two logical um, calculations. So, for instance, uh, the first one that we'll be doing is the revenue. Is that revenue higher than the threshold you have um, selected, $10,000? I F4 to fix the reference, to lock in the reference, and then I add another uh, condition, which is, is this percentage higher than the threshold they have selected? Again, I lock in the reference. And I could go on and on to uh, add more logical steps and for some, for the cell then to turn out to be true, they will need to the the um, all the condition must be met. In this case, we only chosen two, and this particular one, product A, doesn't satisfy because the revenue is under ten thousand dollars, despite the profit being more than thirty percent. I'll copy and paste. And as you can see, the second product, product B, has sold more than the threshold, more than $10,000, and at the same time is making more than 30% margin. What I would also do, here you see it false or true, you might want to uh, add some uh, wording, and we, you, you, we do that by uh, adding an if statement. So if, and the logical step is the test is just the one that we have created. So then we just plug in some text, uh, good product, or if it's false, bad product. So this is a bad product and the other ones with the true are good products. Of course, you can also add here a conditional formatting to highlight it in a more visually effective way. But basically, what you want to use uh, for this sort of um, uh, test of your products is the end function. 